Hello my friend, what's going on? Vitaly Dubin is here with day number 26 of my daily inspirational show for home business entrepreneurs where my goal is to inspire you, to learn, to grow and to succeed and give you some ideas to help you move a little bit closer to living your dream life and today I have an absolute message that can change your life. I want to show you how you can protect yourself from the bombardment of negative messages that all surround us. I want to share with you an equation that I learned from my dear mentor Darren Hardy and he said you create in life whatever it is that you expect from yourself, your goals and your dreams. Now you expect whatever it is that you are thinking. Now the question is what is it that influences your thoughts? And the answer is whatever it is that you allow yourself to see and to hear the input that you put into your mind. And that is why it's so critically important that you be very vigilant and very careful what is it that you allow yourself to see and to hear the input that you put into your life. Because where, where your attention goes, energy flows and so goes the direction of your life. What controls your attention? controls your life and a lot of people they allow themselves to to hold their attention negative fearful doubtful damaging dangerous scandalous worrisome gossip messages that they receive from TV and news and radio and you know in the internet and they don't guard their mind and you know garbage in garbage out if your thinking is thinking, so are your results. And a lot of people, they are just, they, they, they allow themselves to literally trash and poison, throw on their head and put into their minds. And that's why, you know, the, it, every input that you have, it shapes the view that you see the world. It shapes your perspective, it shapes your thinking, it shapes, you know, how high you aim at life. It, it shapes everything. So instead of that, why not focus more on personal development, on inspiring messages, on messages of hope and abundance and prosperity and how we can overcome obstacles and how we can achieve our dreams and goals. Why not put more attention there? And you see, the media, news, the media knows that about you. They know that they cannot get your attention by those messages of hope and inspiration. They get into the core of your being, into your fear. All right? And what they do, they get this uh, scandalous headlines that you see in the magazines. And you, you, you see the reality TV and all of the news that are constantly uh, broadcast on every single station, you know. And that's what tends to get your attention because, you know, we, we all, you know, if we allow ourselves, we will be carried over to those fearful messages. And the media knows that. And you, you, you don't need to seek out those negative messages. They're all around you. What you do need to do is protect your mind. All right? And that's what I want to share with you right now. How you can stop yourself from those deluge of the negative bombardment of those messages? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to protect your mind. Do you know that on average, People above 12, 12 years old, they are watching 17 hours, 1700 hours of TV per year. It means around 4.7 hours on average per day. <laughs> it's crazy, you know? It's around 33 hours per week. It means that one day out of a week, people are watching TV or more than two months in a year, more than two months in front of the booktube, you know, doing nothing, just, just passively watching TV. So, and, and you ask yourself, you know, where, where your time flies? You know, if you, if you look at, your, at the life, it, it can take 13 years of an average person's life to be in front of a TV. It's so crazy. What can you do with the 13 years of your life that will be directed to your goals and your dreams and achieving great things in life. What can it do to you? You know, I want to share with you another equation that I learned from Brian Tracy in, and it calls E to E ratio. And it says, how much time do you spend on your entertainment as opposed to how much time you spend on your education? Most people spend 95% of, the of their time on entertainment and only 5% of the time on education. And we need to 
re move, move the equation around. We need to spend 95% of our time on our education and only 5% of our time on entertainment if you want to achieve great things in life. So protect your mind vigilantly from all of those messages. You know, the newspapers, the TVs, cut the cord, unsubscribe, throw the trashy magazines. I haven't watched TV in a year. I haven't turned, turned it on in a year. No single TV show or nothing like that. I don't watch this stuff. I don't want to feel, infiltrate my mind with all of those negative and scandalous. I, I don't pay attention to my news at all. You know, un unless I have an earthquake under my house, and uh, you know Al Qaeda or some some party is is getting to my house to threaten me and my family. I don't care attention. Don't pay attention. You know about all of this negative stuff because I cannot control it. I can instead put it attention to things that I can control that will improve my life and my family's life. So that's what I want you to do. And the other thing is feed your mind. Feed your mind with messages of positivity, with personal development, inspiration, abundance, prosperity. Feed your mind. You know, on average, if you're driving, you're spending around 300 hours per year driving in a car. Why don't you listen while you're driving to the car to messages of inspiration? It will change your life, I promise it, because you'll will start be clear about your, your thinking, will become very, very clear and very focused on your goals and your dreams and you'll be hopeful again and you'll start making progress in every single area of your life. So I hope this message get into your heart and you change some of your behavior so that you can reach your goals and your dreams faster. It's been Vitaly Dubin with my daily inspirational show and always remember to dream bigger and think bigger and play even bigger. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, go out and subscribe and receive those daily inspirational show messages every single day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.